This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, Mike here at Animation Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, what are we going to do today? We're going to do a, a request. I received a question from Jim Dupree. Uh, he's from Detroit and he asked me, is there an easier way to get all your render layers into Photoshop uh, to do a composition? Okay. Now, just for those who don't know exactly what that means, let's say you modeled something in Maya, you went out and textured it in, I don't know, ZBrush or, or 3D code or whatever, and you come up with a bunch of layers, okay? So you got a color map, you got a normal map, you got a specular map, um, you know, and so forth. Well, if you want to get all that stuff into Photoshop, you have to open up all the files and then copy them in and all that kind of jazz, right? Now, there's a much, much quicker way to do that, and I'll show you. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to File, we're going to go down to Scripts, and we're going to go into Load Files into Stack. Okay? Now, I'm going to click on Browse, and I just have an example here of a table that I did. And we're just going to take a bunch of these layers here. So we've got Ambient Occlusion, we've got Color, Curvature. Uh, let's say we got the emissive, emissive power, metalness, and what else? We'll take these as well. Okay. So once I hit OK on that, as you can see, they're all being loaded right there. And we'll just give that a sec. Looks like it's done. We'll hit OK. And now check out on the right what's happening down here. And we'll just give that a sec as I move over. Just keep an eye on that. And there they all are. And you can simply just click on this guy here to turn it on or off. Easy peasy. And that's a quick and easy way to do that. All right. Well, if you have any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.